Beach FM kick off sports breakfast show with HMC Car Fee, your local authorised care and Suzuki sales and service agent, and now your local AA Auto Centre. At HMC Carpety, the journey just gets easier. Find out how easy online at hmccarpety.co.nz. You're back on the kickoff sports breakfast show on Beach FM 106.3. Let's talk rugby league now. Let's welcome back our good friend from Wellington Rugby League. It's Phil Roach. G'day, Phil. Hey, Dean. How are you, man? I'm good, bro. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Really good. Excellent, excellent. It is the business end of the season, mate. You're excited for it? Oh, mate, it has been so good. Like the last week's round was amazing with some um, some big upsets, actually. Really? Um, yeah, it was, it was good. Like um, with the the cup qualifier, Randwick travelled to to Otaki to take on Fiji Tera, um, and it was a a game that went 108 minutes. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> so they, yeah, and, and just with the, the overtime and that, and Ramwick came away with the win, winning forty six forty two, wow. um, with a try by Belay, um, the the winger for Ramwick who was solid the entire game. Wow. Um, and, and and then with the eliminator at Ascot Park, with Puriro Vikings taking on Wainui, um, you know, Wainui had the game in, in the first half, and they were up ten four. Um, Vikings came back and, and won that game twenty points to sixteen and, and have knocked uh, that that ended the 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 Lions season for twenty twenty. Wow. So the big big game there. Um in the plate qualifier, Petoni upset uh to Aroha. Petoni Panthers winning that one forty eight twenty four. And the Marlins having their first win of the entire season and, and <laughs> you know, crucial time of it, beating the Trenton Titans fifty four twenty four. Wow. Which not has knocked the Titans out of the the competition this year. So you know, the playoffs the playoffs is a is a different beast on its own, and obviously showed last week. Too true, too true. Wow, exciting times! Uh, four was that four time or three time defending champion Fiti Tata? Four, four. So that yeah, they've won it four times now, and. Three uh, times in Manawa two before that, um, yep. and uh, so they they've got their second chance against the Vikings this weekend. Um, that's, yeah, that's so they're at home against against the Vikings, and that's going to be a tough one because you know it was, it was a super physical game last last week against the Kingfishers, and um, you know t- today's game going to be no different against the the likes of the Vikings who have proved themselves to not be easy beats this year. Um, you know, they've put themselves on, on the on the map as well and, and are in contention. Absolutely. So, you know, see the winner of, of, of that game obviously um plays in the major semi final next week, um, with the loser being eliminated today. So a big game for both. It's a do or die game for both teams. Um and, and you know we've got the major semi final for the cup as well with the Dragons having last week off, um, and they'll be taking on the Randwick Kingfishers, and winner of that goes directly through to the to our grand final. Um, again, it's going to be a tough ask for Randwick after such a physical game, you know, uh, last week. It's going to be a tough ask for them to to um, try and steamroll the the another physical side in St George today. Yeah. Um, and with the other, the the plate semi final, we've got the Hunters who had the week off last week taking on Petoni and McAllister Park today, and in the our eliminator two, we've got Te Aroha taking on the the Marlins. So Ex- some exciting footy, absolutely, mate. Hey, uh, quick question: what What's your preference to go week to week or have that first week off of the playoffs like the Dragons and the Hunters do? I, I think for me, it'll be. I probably would have preferred the week to week because you you tend to gain momentum there. Whereas if it's a stop start, like again, um, you know, with with, with the the dragons and the hunters ta- having earned last week off, if they win again this week, they get another week off. You know, and so it, it, yeah, yeah, depending on if they've got niggles, then yeah, the week off is good. But I, for me personally, I think I'd, I'd prefer to keep playing through. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, it's exciting times. A couple more weeks to go at least, but um, yep. I definitely enjoy this. And, and lastly, mate, uh, it's uh, we've got a few more weeks in the NRL and uh, Warriors sitting at ninth on the table. Mate, I will be fir- <laughs> I'll be first to say um, that I didn't see that uh, actually happening, but um, oh, it's, it's pretty no. close. 
<laughs> yeah, it is close. It, and, and, you know, there's a lot of people that, including myself, that <laughs> didn't see that happening. Um, I think the boys have actually finally resided to the fact that they're not coming home yeah. or that they're not going to, there's no chance for them to have a game here at home this year. Um, and now they've finally been able to just focus on their footy the last couple of weeks, Absolutely. which has been some pretty good football. Yeah, yeah, they might, they might. The, the challenge brothers are definitely climbing out. Um, and we've still got what seven weeks to go, so it's still, yeah, it still could be anyone. But uh, it was tomorrow, third place on the table. Oh, mate, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a bad time to get the eels, especially after their um their performance against the Rabbitohs. Yeah. They're not going to want to do that again, so. No, not at all. Not yeah. at all. All right, mate. Well, I always appreciate you to coming on the show to talk league. Go well. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, and uh, we'll awesome. catch up next week. Always appreciate your support, Damien. Thank you.